Buenas noches, sports fans. Theodore Roosevelt once said, great thoughts speak only to the thoughtful mind, but great actions speak to all mankind. What the Guam Football Association did was turn a great idea into some great action. And although beach soccer may not change mankind, it will add to the sports community's vast options of fitness activities. Jordan Hugo recaps the inaugural beach soccer season. After four grueling weeks of play, the 2010 Budweiser Beach Soccer League ended as the champions were crowned yesterday at the GFA Field in Harmon. The matchup for the number one spot came between quality distributors and Team Guam United. With the chance to take the league by a few points, quality distributors won its last two games of the evening to win the title. We caught up with Brett Maluwelming of Team Quality on their win. Coming into today, we were behind on a Guam United, they were ahead of us. They played a game extra, but uh, we also needed to catch up on goal difference because that was uh, the next tiebreaker. We worked hard and we beat the first team that we played today, Fuji, uh, the ones that just played now. So that was that was pretty intense. <laughs> I guess it's always good to be the first one. That's what we're, aim what we're aiming for. Uh, put quality on the map as the first Beach Soccer League champions and uh, we accomplished our goal. Among top scorers for the season, with over 15 goals total, Sean Spindell of Team Fuji Ichiban also took the Golden Boot Award. And with a nice shot like this, you can see why. The league ended on a good note as all teams came out for the last few games of the evening. According to Malu Welming of GFA, with the good turnout from all teams and players, the league will surely return for another season. Um, well, we were hoping for more teams, but at the same time, um, having five teams in this league was a good start. We can only grow from here, so I think it's a good stepping stone. We hope to continue beach soccer, uh, at least one league every year. From what I've gathered from all the players, it seemed to be a fun league, so definitely continue it. A big congratulations to all teams for making a good run this season. Reporting for Sports Watch, I'm Jordan Hugo. Well, it's the first Monday of the year, and before you know it, we'd be zooming through 2011. So before we speed off through the new year, let's pose one more question from 2010. This week's Sports Question of the Week, which story from the past year surprised you the most? Was it Guam High winning its first football title ever? What about the St. John's Knights girls volleyball team shocking everyone with their title run? And how about the Panthers girls soccer team denying the ND Royals from winning their sixth straight title? Let us know what you think by going to GuamNewsWatch.com. Scroll down to the bottom right side of the page to vote. Results will be revealed this Friday night. And that will do it for sports coming up. Why a new traffic light is causing headaches for some Jiggle drivers.